Thank you for joining us. First, what, what does this night mean to you? I'm, uh, obviously, I'm very excited uh, for our district. Um, it's bittersweet uh, knowing some other races that are you know, happening around the state, but I'm excited that District 29 voters spoke, um, and I'm excited to get to work. What do you think put you over the edge to defeat Senator Delft? I think uh, for me, I think people really connected to my message. I think people really connected to um, our platform. Um, and speaking of connecting, I connected with our voters. I went out and knocked those doors. I made those phone calls. We sent out a thousands and upon thousands of postcards. Uh, it's that personal touch that I think is really missing from our politics. You mentioned in your speech how you wanted to make sure that no one felt left out. Yes. That was something that was important to you. What do you mean by that? Well, I think, you know, without getting into too much of it, but I think my opponent has spent most of his time in the General Assembly uh, kind of marginalizing those uh, different people that I mentioned in my speech tonight, uh, LGBTQ plus Hoosiers. So, um, so for me, I'm excited to uh, really get to work for everybody in our, in, our, in our district and in our state. From what I've read, you are the first LGBTQ out member in the, sta in the state house ever yes. in Indiana. Yes. What does that mean to you? Well, I'm, I, it's certainly, I'm, it's not lost on me about the historical significance. Um, but um, as I mentioned tonight, this win truly is about giving a voice to LGBTQ plus Hoosiers. I mean, think about it, Eric. We've, we've been through the HDR3 fight. We've been through the RIFRA fight. Uh, we've, they didn't pass the hate crimes bill uh, in the last General Assembly session. And so for me, um, you know, this is what this boils down to. Our, our, the voters in our district, they, they spoke loud tonight. And what do you think it means overall, though, for, for what this means for Indiana? Because you mentioned some of these controversial issues yes. that have put a, a, a scar on Indiana in the yes. past. Yes. But tonight, is that turning a page? What does it mean? I think it has to. I, I think that, you know, as I traveled the district, I heard so many people say that they felt that Indiana was, was going in the wrong direction. And I think with our win tonight, with, with our election, with our victory, I, I think that shows people, not just in our state, but in our country and even the world for that matter, uh, that Indiana is moving in the right direction with our election tonight. And then lastly, the crowd. I mean, <laughs> you know, it had been a pretty somber night until you got up there sure. and then they erupted. Yes. How did that feel to see a big crowd yeah. really not only cheering, but passionately cheering? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what, to be honest with you, it's very humbling, um, you know, because of the fact that most of those folks uh, knocked a door, made a phone call. So their, this win is, is really their win tonight as well. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, I'm excited, I, I'm ready to get to work. Look at this, so. look what we got here. <laughs> They're amazing, love them. So. Did, did Senator Delph concede? Did he call you? Uh, I, honest, to be honest with you, I have not checked my phone. It's been such a whirlwind of a night, so I, I, I don't know yet. Senator-elect Ford, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you very much.